Hey folks, uh, back again with uh, some bushcraft, woodscraft. Uh, what we're doing today, I bought one of these uh, small inserts for a 20 gauge. Shoots a uh, 38 or a 357 round into it. I wanted you to see it. Got one loaded. Like that's a. Uh, 357 mag that's in there. Anyways, we're going to try it out. Just using an old uh, H&R 20 single shot. It does have sights on it. It's considered a slug gun, but it is a smooth bore. But it's got the rear sight and the front sight, which might help a little bit in uh, getting a little accuracy out of the insert. Now the insert is only uh, I believe what they call a three inch, but you know the bullets that far up into it from there From there up to where my thumb is right in there Is how far you got so you don't have a lot of rifling we're at about uh, 20 yards or so and I'll show you I've got another camera down range. We'll zoom this camera in and We'll see if we can hit anything with it. I don't know how accurate this uh H&R is as far as slugs either, but we're out here to do some just playing around shooting, see what we can come up with. So here we go. Well, I do believe that shot high, but I've got some 38 special we're going to try next. Okay, now we're going hot with 38 special. Well, fellas, it's uh, hitting a little bit on the high side. I hate to adjust the sights on it too much because that was only at about 20 yards, 22 yards. So I moved back to 30 yards, and we're going to try it again so that maybe I don't have to adjust the sights down. I'd rather have it more accurate and just pull a little Kentucky windage on it at a little closer range. So we're going to try it at 30 yards and see where it's shooting at. Seems pretty accurate, though, actually, for that much guidance system on the bullet. So let's give her another whirl and we'll see what happens. Okay, this is at 30 yards, a 38 special. I'm just gonna take three shots. Okay, hey, we'll go down the range and check it out, see what we got. Well, as you can see from the video, no hits, but I'm going to try a slug through it. And that'll be my deciding factor on whether I want to adjust for sight. Like I said, this is a 30 yards. We'll try a 
20 gauge, just regular Remington slug. I think that was a hit for sure. Go down and check it out. Alright, we're going to try a couple more uh, 357 Magnum. Seems like the uh, slugs are hitting pretty much dead center, actually shooting a little low for both of them. So I'm going to see if I can adjust appropriately and get a 357 to hit. Seems like they're still shooting way too high. <laughs> 